There is no such thing as general intelligence. This concept makes absolutely no sense. For years, artificial intelligence has been racing forward at a pace few imagined. Chatbots can write essays, models can generate art, and systems can solve complex problems in seconds. But behind all this progress, one big question still divides the AI world. Will machines ever reach artificial general intelligence, or AGI, intelligence that can match or even exceed humans across almost any task? That question is now at the center of a public debate between two of the most respected minds in AI. Google DeepMind CEO Demis Hassabis and Meta's chief AI scientist, Turing Award winner Jan LeCun. And their disagreement goes much deeper than just timelines. It's about what intelligence itself really means. Jan LeCun argues that what we call general intelligence in humans is mostly an illusion. In a recent podcast, he said humans aren't truly general at all. Instead, he believes we are super specialized. We're great at navigating the real world, understanding people, and surviving in messy environments. But when it comes to highly structured tasks like playing chess or doing complex calculations, we're actually not that good. In his view, we only think we're general because we judge intelligence by problems we can already understand. As LeCun puts it, we design tests that fit our own minds, then feel impressed when we pass them. From that perspective, building AGI, a system that matches humans at everything, may not even make sense because humans themselves aren't truly general. Demis Hasabi strongly disagrees. Responding on social media, the DeepMind co-founder said Lacoon is plain incorrect and that he's mixing up two different ideas, general intelligence and universal intelligence. Hasabis argues that the human brain is one of the most complex systems we know in the universe, and that it is, in fact, extremely general. Humans may not be perfect at every task, but we can learn an enormous range of skills. We invent games like chess. We build airplanes. We create science, art, and technology. All with the same basic brain. To Hasabis, that flexibility is exactly what general intelligence means. He points out that just because humans have limits, like finite memory or limited time to think, doesn't make them narrow. It just makes them practical, biological systems. One example he used was chess grandmaster Magnus Carlsen. Even though humans can't calculate every possible move like a computer, it's still remarkable that a brain evolved for survival can master something as abstract as chess at all. Underneath this back and forth is a deeper idea from computer science called the no free lunch theorem. In simple terms, it means there is no single algorithm that's best at everything. A system that's great at one kind of problem will usually be worse at another. Lacoon leans on this idea to argue that intelligence must always be specialized. You can't have one system that excels at all tasks equally. Hasabis agrees in practice. Real systems do specialize to some degree. But he says that, in theory, a general system can learn any computable task if it has enough time, memory, and data. He compares the brain, and even modern AI models, to something called a Turing machine, a theoretical machine that can simulate any algorithm. Not perfectly, but closely enough to matter. So in Hasabiza's view, General intelligence isn't about being instantly great at everything. It's about having an architecture flexible enough to learn almost anything. That difference in definition shapes how both men think AGI will be achieved. Lacoon has been one of the loudest critics of today's large language models, the kind that power many popular chatbot. He believes LLMs are fundamentally limited. They learn patterns from huge datasets, but they don't truly understand the world, and they struggle with continual learning, updating knowledge over time without forgetting what they learned before. Because of that, Lacoon argues LLMs are a dead end on the road to AGI. Instead, he's pushing for something he calls world models. These would be AI systems that build internal representations of how the real world works, including physics, cause and effect, and how things change over time. 
In his vision, an AI wouldn't just predict the next word. It would imagine possible futures, test actions in its head, and learn the way humans and animals do. He even prefers not to use the term AGI at all. He calls his goal advanced machine intelligence, suggesting a more practical, grounded direction. Hasabi sees things a bit differently. While he agrees that simply scaling today's models won't magically create AGI, he doesn't think LLMs are useless. DeepMind has been combining language models with planning systems, memory, and reinforcement learning, trying to build agents that can reason, act, and learn in complex environments. Hasabi's believes we're close, but not quite there. In his words, reaching AGI will still require one or two major breakthroughs. He doesn't expect it to come from just bigger datasets or more computing power. Instead, it will likely involve new ideas about how to integrate reasoning, perception, memory, and learning into a single system. So on one side, you have Lacoon, who says human intelligence isn't truly general, and that we need new kinds of AI grounded in real-world models. On the other, Hasabis, who says the brain shows us that general intelligence is real, and that AI systems, in principle, can reach that level too. Why does this debate matter? Because it shapes where billions of dollars and thousands of researchers will focus their efforts. If Lacoon is right, then chasing human-like generality with language models may waste time. The future would lie in building machines that understand the world like scientists, not storytellers. If Asabis is right, then today's foundation models are stepping stones. Not the final answer, but essential parts of a bigger system that could one day reason, plan, and learn across almost any domain. It also matters for society. AGI isn't just a technical milestone. If machines ever reach human-level intelligence, it could reshape work, education, science, and even how we understand ourselves. That's why definitions matter. If we can't agree on what intelligence really is, it's hard to know when or if we've achieved it. For now, the debate remains open. What's clear is that even among the world's top AI minds, there is no single roadmap to the future. Some see intelligence as fundamentally specialized. Others see it as deeply flexible. And somewhere between those views may lie the path that defines the next era of artificial intelligence. One thing is certain. As models grow more powerful and more embedded in daily life, this debate won't stay inside labs and conferences. It will shape the tools we use, the rules we write, and the future we build with machines. And whether AGI turns out to be real, redefined, or something entirely unexpected, the clash between Lacoon and Hasabis shows just how high the stakes truly are. Comment what you think about this. If you like the video then don't forget to subscribe, it really motivates us to create helpful videos.